Let's see how we would go about this. Good grief. It's as dark as the deepest corners of hell. So if we use the can of naphtha first, will that work? No? Shit. Um... So maybe we use the lantern, and then we have the few seconds in which we can use the naphtha? But that makes no sense. Ideally, we'd want to pour the naphtha and then light a flame and whatever. I just hope there's enough oil left in the lamp. That may not be the oil we need. Oh shit, that didn't, naphtha wasn't what we wanted. Or was... Oh shit, there's the guy. Damn. So it was not the naphtha. Curses. No oil left. Okay, so now we're now we're dead. Oh, wait a minute. Something came back. So I used up the lantern, then I just used the now the naphtha can be used. Yeah, because it's empty now. Uh, okay. He didn't. Oh shit. That those guys gonna kill me if I touch them? Yes, apparently yes. Apparently the answer is yes. Poor Parker, so young and already in the next world. Interestingly, the whole cavern lit up. Um, so damn, we're gonna have to avoid those boogeymen with only a very small area of light. Um, so I guess that's a Cedric to give out because we solved the light issue, sort of. Again, the game is, the game just goes dark and telling you what's going on at times. He does, he should be saying, oh, okay, this naphtha should give me more oil or fuel for the, for the lantern. But he's not saying anything. Good grief. And we can't use the naphtha first, so... I just hope there's enough oil left in the lamp. And I guess we can only use the naphtha after the lantern has burned out? Curses. No oil left. So I hope these guys are afraid oh shit, afraid of the dark. Dude, fucking move. Can I go this way? All right, I think I have to go all the way to the left side. Maybe we can use one of the rings to like fend off the monsters. And what's my go? I mean, yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, go for it, Fletcher. My go. Let's take a look at this. My go. I go. Yeah, I mean, it's the sort of situation where if someone posts a link that's obviously uh, malevolent in nature, then a mod can um, can delete it. Fictional race of extraterrestrials. Oh, these are the guys that are inside the cave, huh? The cavern. They do not actually resemble Yeti and are instead fungus-based life forms that look like winged humanoid crabs. Ooh, lovely. Sting, thank you for the host. Much appreciated, Sting. Welcome everyone from the Sony experience. Yeah, fungus-based life forms that look like winged humanoid crabs. It's a lo lovely image. And in fact, we get treated to it inside this cavern. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do another save right after we've used Good both grief. the lantern and the um, the naphtha to avoid having to uh, do this all over again every time. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, Stan. I just hope there's enough oil left in the lamp. 34,000? Wow. What, what game were you, um, what uh, game were you running? Curses. No oil left. Okay. 
So let's get that uh, save. Creepy guy. Creepy guys. Can I walk this way? No, I can't go off to the right. Okay. Fuck, dude. Oh, right. I said I was... Okay, so there are three of them in the cavern. I think I said I was going to try using the ring, right? To try to ward off evil. Yeah. I mean, which of these would be... Okay, using the ring has seems no effect. And we still can't prepare the camera. And reading from this book does shit. Alright, so we can't really do any... No. Oh, throw, throw acid on one of them. How the fuck am I supposed to... That time there was only one, what two of them. So young, and already in the next world. God damn. Can I just try moving left? No. Fuck. Well, what the fuck? Poor Parker. So you... Oh, this is the wrong one. So am I supposed to know the mythos of these creatures to know how to be in order to beat them? Is that why you showed their link Fletcher, or is that just wishful thinking on my part? Oh. Okay, I kind of got by some of them. Oh, fuck. Let's definitely get a save in. <laughs> Made to the next screen. I just ran across, I guess. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who do we have now? Jeez. So young and already ah, additional knowledge. Okay, thanks, Fletcher. So this seems like totally random about just... Okay, I just walked right into it. It's like total trial and error, basically. I mean, if the whole room were lit, then you say, okay, yeah, I... Then it's just like a... You know, it's like get to the other side without touching them when you can all see them. But here, when you have no idea what you're walking into... It's a little bit tougher for that. Fuck, dude. I mean, I assume I, I still have to get to the other side, but. Uh. So someone is asking how the deaths can pile up. This is how they pile up. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on, I tried to... I went up to avoid the first one, then down to avoid the second one, and then there was a third one there. Oh, close. I mean, there could, there must be something I'm missing, but yeah. Talk to the monsters, yeah, I'm sure that'll work. Yeah, it is. I do feel like it's... it's. Imagine, like, trying to... In football... Oh, kind of did it. There we go. I think. Oh, no, there's not a room here. God damn it. Fuck. Alright, let's at least save here. In the new slot. Imagine, imagine a kick returner in football trying to return a kick for a, for a touchdown, but he can't see his tacklers. That That's what this is. Not only can't see his tacklers, you can't even see the field. He's a fucking blind football player. Kick returner. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't doesn't work. <laughs> so, the, yeah, this is just basically me trial and error. And now it turns out in this cavern, there's not even a... So young. I can't even go to the left. The next... I didn't even see that there was a guy there. All right, so that, I don't think that... Clearly enough, we can't exit to the left. We have to either exit south or north. I'm guessing north because south there is no line. I never watched the Browns like, ouch, sting, the burn. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to start back here in the left corner. Fuck, forgot that guy. All right, so there are two guys there on the south line. Yeah, go that way. 
Thank God you're yes. here. I beg you, Mr. Parker, help us out of here. Oh, these are the Websters. Oh, shit, what's going on? Let's get a new save. These are the guy. These were the cemetery uh, caretakers. The boy was our first, um, was our guide on night one. Okay. Um, hello. I beg you, Mr. Parker, free us from this monster. He drains the energy from us. Fight with all your strength, Ellen. Oh, I'll do everything I can to get you and your son out of there. Yes, I will. I beg you. Okay, so. Nothing more. I beg you. Okay, so that's done. Um, if this is a death, let's try to get it. Do we just walk into the thing? No, no, we can't. Okay. The worshippers of Dagon, Lord of the no, Ocean. Yes, thank you. Um, can we use our camera now? No, not still not yet. Either of the rings will work. Shoggoths. Reading from a spell doesn't work. Pour acid on uh, on them. I'm sure that I'm sure that'll have great great things. Can we use like the flint to cut the rope? Burn no. Okay. Is this a platform? This could be something here on the floor, not sure. See again, I can't even I guess those are two what, like snake cobra things? It's hard to know what to do when the game doesn't even tell you what the fuck is is here. There's a little bit of a, the issue. Um, brooch. We still can't set up the tripod anywhere. No. The camera. I mean, yeah, it's basically you have to brute force. I don't even know what that energy thing is. Like, he doesn't even give me a description of the room. Okay. Acid. Is that kill? Oh. Okay, that was something on the ground. We poured acid on it and we got a diamond. Oh, fuck. Dude. Okay, so now we have the other color to project, but we're still down two rings. That's the white. That's the white stone. We have the green, the, the blue. Also, I guess we're missing the red. We're still not... Is this the stone circle? Unclear. Well, clearly we just got the diamond, so let's try to use it. Where do we need to stand to... Oh, there's oh, stairs of death. Marcus, so young, and already in the next world. The tile looked different, but he didn't give us a description of what was on the tile. Alright, if we just use the acid right away... I mean, why would going through the acid... There, how are we supposed to know that there's a diamond underneath the, the, the tile? How is the character even supposed to know that? Okay, that summons this guy. Um, I mean... Part of my complaint about the game is, like, half the puzzles are basically just brute force. Because they don't give you enough details to see what is actually on screen and what's going on. I, I'm always trying to have to figure things out after the fact all right so we got this cthulhu i guess this is now cthulhu the balaskin family motto for god in the green land of my fathers so use the green ring okay i'll put this ring on my right hand okay use the blue ring on your left hand okay i'll put this ring on my left hand Whoa, what did we just turn into? <laughs> How can I thank you, Mr. Parker? I didn't think we would ever be free again. No need for thanks, Ellen. Get away from here. Don't wait for me. I must finish the task. Fothongjar Malach Ai Ralaya Ai Jar Naga Fathongjar Cthulhu. Yagar Ralaya. The door is blocked. You have just enough time to get to the stone circle. A word of advice. Uh. First, you must photograph the comet. I'm not sure I can. 
I know you will succeed. But hurry, the comet does not wait. Alright, let's get a save in. So was that Yogg-Sothoth, or which which monster did we kill? Could have been Yogg-Sothoth, or um, Neralatep was the other one. Okay, we can't climb up to that throne or whatever that was. Yeah, so there's another way out of here, right? That was Cthulhu? We just killed him? Oh, we have to go. Now we have to go to the. Oh god, am I still gonna have to go through those guys? Okay, push it down. Oh, I came down. Came down here. The way out of here is blocked by a huge boulder. Uh, I better find another way. Okay, so we have to find our way out of the cavern. southern exit. We still can't go off to the left here. That was where we just came from. Oh wow, they're not even letting us... Can we go back? Oh wow, they're not even letting us go back. Oh yes, okay, we can go back. Alright, so how are we going to get our way out of here? Uh, we have the butterfly we haven't used yet. Apparently we used the rings. I don't know how that happened. but I mean, we used them, but I don't know why they've disappeared, but okay. Where did, where did, what, how did the, how did the family get out of here then, if it was blocked by the boulder? I mean, it doesn't make much sense. Oh, okay, so we just chopped off a couple tentacles. Got it. Alright, so let's, is there, there's no way we can blast through the boulder with anything? I'm trying to find another exit here, but I'm not really seeing anything. You'd think we'd be able to walk up. That's like a pathway up, but now I can't travel that way. The way out of here is. Yeah, they pushed and the, they trapped us. We were betrayed. I mean, the only thing I can think is either we have to do something in that uh, sort of throne room looking place, or just find, literally just find another opening here in the wall somewhere. And I'm guessing, based on the way this looks, like it's probably going to have to be, probably going to have to be in the throne room. something else here. What's that back there? Oh. A small passage. So I couldn't walk there. I had to look there to realize that there was... Oh, okay. So it was a different area. Never mind. I thought we were going to be walking up that path along the... that curved up all, along the right, but apparently not. Okay, so we made it to the... Uh, is this the graveyard or the cemetery? Where, where are we right now? Let's get another save in. All right, so I guess we'll give that a Cedric for finding our way out of there. Oh, we have to photograph the uh, comet, right? So let's set up the um, tripod if we can. Nice. Okay. Let's get the plates ready. Let's take off the wrapping. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got three plates. Um... They still said we had to project them with the lantern and red, white, blue, and green. The problem is we only have blue and white now. We we somehow used the ruby in the other place and the emerald as well. So anyway, let's try using the camera, placing the camera. Okay. We still have to wait for the the comet, of course, to show up. Um. We could create maybe a fire to serve for red, but that seems sort of odd to do. 
Uh, as far as green, we have a green book, but I don't think that'll really reflect anything. What about this butterfly? Ah! The patches on this butterfly are translucent. I wonder why. Jerg certainly knew how to guard his secrets. So the butterfly had all four colors on it. So we don't have to use those stones after all. All right. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. The comet will be crossing any moment now. They gave me no time to photograph it. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Such a shame. He was so close to success. So close, but yet so far. So that that comment went by very quickly. Um, I'm guessing I need to down <laughs> decrease the cycle somewhat. Maybe a good thing to be doing. Um, so let's try that. Uh, so we're at 6,500 now. So let's go down to, um, I guess, 15, no, 1,500 the other way. Yeah, there we go. All right. Hello. Okay. So uh, tripod. Okay. Let's use the uh, plates. Oh my God! It takes at, at this at this amount of Let's cycles take the it takes racing. forever to execute a command. All right. Place the camera. All right. Now the question I think that you would think we would put the butterfly in place. Of, oh, we also need to use the lantern because the lantern needs to be used to project the colors. So can we place the lantern first? No, I'm forgetting something. No, not yet. Okay. What about the butterfly first, then the lantern? Place talismans and then speak the ritual. Okay, so the magical rites probably are going to be used last. Uh, so, but last time he didn't want to place the butterfly. Wow, the colored patches on this butterfly are translucent. I wonder why. Jerg certainly knew how to guard his secrets. Yeah, but they're not over in a blink of an eye relative to the Observer on Earth. That's a little bit much. Hello, Gabo! Thank you for the host! How's it going, Gabo? Can I use it again to apply it to the camera lens? Because I need to put it in front to project. I'll yes. put the butterfly into the camera. So the problem was I needed to use it twice. Okay, we need... Oh, into the camera? Okay. I was just going to put it against the lens, but all right. So now we can apply the um, the lantern. No, I'm forgetting something. Still not? Okay. Well, project the colors. We don't need the stones. Um, if I use the plates, then he's going to start to take the photos, I believe. Let me just make sure we don't have to use these um, stones. No. Okay. I didn't think so, but just want to make sure. Oh, I don't have to adjust the cycles? It seemed like I needed to take the picture as the um, the comet was passing. But okay, thank you. I'll increase because this is, it is a bit painful seeing at that, um, at that speed. Okay. And we don't have to use... This magnifying yeah. glass is a perfect fit for my telescope. Okay. Let me get a save in there. Just in case. But I would think we've done everything. Um, we've just got to put in the um, the plates and then do the, the rights, I would think. Yeah. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Oh. The comet will be crossing any moment now. See, I guess. No, I guess I did forget something. 
Maybe the brooch. We haven't used the brooch yet. Such a shame. He was so close to success. All right. Let's, uh, is rope ladder dancing bear? Rope ladder, I think. No, it was must have been dancing bear. Okay. So let's try the uh, brooch. Brooch. Wait, lantern. Oh yeah, I tried using the lantern before. Okay, now we have the pro now we have it projecting. Great. Um, so I think we just have to use the um, plates now, or do we have to do the incantation first? Okay, the plates. Hurry! The comet's going to cross at any moment. Okay, he took the photo. What do we have to pick up here? Fragment of comet. Wow. Oh shit. Now do the fragment of comment. Okay. Now use the magic. Say the magic rites. Place the talisman's ritual spoken. Okay. Now we have to place the comet somewhere. The comet symbolizes air, thus the color white. Okay. So that's red. We have red, green, white. Now we need blue. Um, the aquamarine. Maybe we already have the blue. Can we do the rights now? No. Maybe aquamarine doesn't count. Diamond, it would be blue. I think I think the aquamarine must be the blue. But I tried using it over here. It didn't work. Damn. Such a shame. He was so clean. Okay, so before we do this, let's think about this. We're using the um, right the lantern to project. We have red and green are projection on the two rocks. We get the comet to be air to symbolize uh, that's the white. So we probably need blue to symbolize water. Is my would be my thought. And aquamarine is water. I mean, it has the word water in it, aqua. So I'm pretty convinced it's got to be aquamarine. Maybe it's just a question of placement. He seemed to put the comment on the right stone, which is why I thought the aquamarine would go on the left stone, but apparently not. Can I place it ahead of time? No. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's got to be the aquamarine because... Uh, the only other thing we have is really diamond. Can of tar. Should we try to trap the Cthulhu with the can of tar in the soil here? No, I can't do that. Okay. All right, let's try this again. I mean, I thought I used the aquamarine, but maybe not. I don't know. Doesn't the butterfly have all four colors? Why do we need to project more? All right. Hurry! The comet's going to cross at any moment. Who's he talking to? Dude, get it. Okay, and use the comet here. Oh, he's not using it here. Wait. The comet symbolizes air, thus the color white. White. Did I actually use it? Okay, I did use it. So aquamarine. Aquamarine symbolizes so I tried water, before. thus the color blue. Okay, now do the magic rites. Uh, seriously? What are we missing? Uh, we photographed the comet. We have all four colors, although I don't know why they're not showing up on the rocks, the blue and the white. I guess we have to place the talismans. What would be the talismans? I guess those were the talismans, weren't they? I mean, the only other thing we really have is um, the diamond. 
and we keep, we're dead. Such a shame. He was so close to success. That was weird how the aquamarine didn't work the last time. I specifically tried aquamarine on this rock. It's weird though, because they sit, you see the red and green uh, circles on these two rocks, but we don't see the circles on those two when you, you place it. Interesting. Okay. Um, maybe we have to make a fire with the two flints. Could be something. The thing is, he refused to say the magic rites, so... Let's just consult the notebook, make sure I'm not missing anything. Luckily, Cthulhu, lurking deep in the earth, did not have time to materialize. I now understand what drove poor Boliskin insane. I must go back to the Calvary to photograph the passage of the comet. I hope I can arrive at the stone circle in time. The question that preys on my spirit is, where will the danger spring from next? Will the elements themselves conspire to destroy me? Wait, do we need to go back to the Calvary? Then we're in the wrong place. <laughs> now, this must be the right place, otherwise he wouldn't have placed all that stuff. And the stone circle. This is the stone circle, isn't it? Yeah, this has got to be the stone circle. Okay, so that doesn't really help us terribly well, much. Let me just make sure there's nothing. Okay. So we got all four things placed. I think it's just placing talisman, and then we speak the ritual. I don't know what talisman we have, though, unless the brooch was just a fake thing we bought at the general store. That can't be anything. So my only thought is either it's the diamond or we need to create a fire or something. We'll see. Dude, lantern. Okay, yeah, see, he made red, he made green, but these two did not for some reason. Okay, uh, and I'm, I want to confirm I can't do this ahead of time. No, he only, you have to have Cthulhu there for him to use the Aquamarine for whatever reason. Weird. Let me just do a full tour of this, just to make sure there's no objects I was supposed to pick up. Okay, nope. All right, so next up we have the uh, plates, I believe. Yeah. Hurry, the comet's going to cross at any moment. So in fact, I, I probably should get another save in here. Let's just do another save. Forest. Wow, I can't even place the aquamarine. I have to pick up the comet first. Dude, pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Aquamarine symbolizes water, thus the color blue. The comet symbolizes air, thus the color white. White. Okay, so why can't I do the rights? Do I have to be in the right position for it? Okay, no. Maybe the center one needs something, diamond? Nope. Create a fire with the tar. Approach. Nothing. Say the magic words. Where's, what, what, I don't have a talisman. Those must have been the talismans that I placed. Did they get behind this thing? Oh, wow, you can touch it, and it's not a problem. Goddamn. Such a shame. He was so close to success. So the comet falls over there. Is it a question of placement, maybe? I could try pl putting the comet on a different... Area. Maybe I mixed it up from when I initially... Yeah, maybe I've mixed up the locations of the... Um, of the comet and the aquamarine. So as soon as I pick up the comet, Cthulhu shows up, or I'm assuming that's Cthulhu. Yeah, you can't place the comet here. 
and I can't even walk past that area. So it's got to be. Um, and it doesn't the matter. Symbolizes air. Not paused. So probably I should do a run with this where I do this stuff quickly, and then I. Aquamarine. There's one step here I'm missing. Um, hey, how's it going, TKR? It's not Cthulhu. Well, it's certainly something, isn't it? Uh, I can't set. I'm unable to use the diamond or say the magic rights. Where will the danger spring from next? Yep, another death. Such a shame. He was so close to success. We're bringing it. Oh, by the way, this was nothing. Uh, here, resusc resuscitate symbol of death to fight evil. Maybe we've already done that with one of the other gods, though. I think we probably have. All right, let me just do these last things quickly, and then. Um, Get some time. Then get a new save in. Aquamarine. Aquamarine symbolizes water. Clearly we have Thus to use the, the diamond. Blue. Unless I can use the diamond here. Now, the comet has to be The white. comet symbolizes air. Thus the color white. All right. Let's put this under Tyler Gate. Yeah, I don't know why the, the lights aren't happening again, unless we have to do something again with the... Um, no, we don't have the lantern again. Can't use the camera. Yeah, I've always wondered why they the other two um, placing the talismans that didn't show up. But you have to do that first in order to even take the, the camera, so that can't be anything. We can't speak the rights. Let me just use the diamond and then walk around and see if they can be the diamond is used anywhere. No. Oh, now they are letting me go. No, okay. I thought they were letting me. The diamond symbolizes earth, thus the color green. So we have to place these other two things. I thought they were already accounted for. All right. Well, at least that tells us what we're missing. So I need to place red and green stuff too. He was so close to success. See, this is this is my complaint with the game. It shows us the red and the green as if to say, oh, those are already taken care of. Okay, so the diamond is green. The question is, what do we have that's red? I think I want to go here, actually. All right, let's find out what's red. And why can't I pick this up here? Okay. So let's just concentrate on what's red. Uh, the diamond was green. Two flints represents fire. Flint yes. symbolizes fire, thus the color red. Okay, aquamarine represents water. Aquamarine symbolizes water, thus the color blue. Comet. The comet symbolizes air, thus the color white. White. And then we have diamond. The diamond symbolizes earth, thus the color green. Yag oh, shit. Your mission's over, Parker. Your courage and willpower have sealed off Illsmith to the great ancients. But remember, nothing's over. It can all start again somewhere else. But I must return to the Kingdom of Shadows. My task is over. 
I have shown you the way, but always remember this. That is not dead, which can eternal lie. Well, I'd better be getting down to the harbor. My boat should be leaving soon. I'd better get my equipment into the trunk. The driver will soon be here. Everything's ready. I'll take my leave. Oh, the game is not over? Really? <laughs> okay, well, alright. Uh, we have the plates, the rights, and the notebook. Eureka! The fragment of the comet was the final piece of the puzzle. Water, earth, air, and fire joined together through me to defeat the great ancients. I must not forget the photo I promised Mr. Underhouse. Okay, we're gonna have to deliver the photo to Underhouse, alright. Uh, uh, these the photos? Hold on, what was in the trunk? Okay, nothing. Alright, let's go to the... Let's go back to the post office, then. It's odd that the doctor is out. I expected more from him. Perhaps he has better things to do. Uh oh I hope this... Is this setting up the stage for, like, a... A sequel? Still closed. Offensive, I'll be glad to see the last of you. You've turned the village into a morgue. I put Zeke in the slammer just in case. Well, Probable I'm cause. I'm going to check if those gypsies have moved out. Goodbye, Parker. And if I never see you again, it's soon enough for me. Interesting character, that Bags. Yeah, it's very interesting. Oh, what are you all doing here? Dear Mr. Parker, I'm not much of a hand at making speeches. Well, that's a joke. He talked for two hours at the Temperance League meeting. Jed Donahue, will you kindly let the doctor get on with it? Well, doctor, we're waiting. Thank you. Well, as I was saying... What was I saying? Oh, yes. Well, here we are, gathered together. Even Swing managed to find time to get away from his break to be here. You're speaking ill of a public official. Will you let me get on with this? There. Well, to get to the point, we want to say... Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome! Oh, well, to be honest, there is no more to be said. You've scattered the comet's shadow. That's something we can never forget. Now you'd better get going. Your boat won't wait. Goodbye. Hey, find a fine old pub and drink to my health. Goodbye, Parker. I might just do that, Jed. Thanks again for the photo of the stone circle. My pleasure. Never had to develop that, I guess. The competition is going to hate my guts. And we'll prove the Bolliskin was right. What was it he saw exactly? It's a long story, and I'm not sure. Long stories are my favorite kind. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, Mr. Griffith, what do you know of Cthulhu? <laughs> the end! Okay, there we are. Wow. So after 19 hours and 10 minutes, the call of Cthulhu has been answered, and the shadow of the comet has been scattered. It's the end, yes. Wow. 
Wow, so that was simultaneously, yes, thank you for the pick, uh, Ghost Pilot. Um, that was simultaneously a good game in terms of the story, just as Computer Gaming Review told us it would be. But it also had problems. <laughs> I think attention to detail was its main main issue, just not really giving us enough direct feedback over uh, what was happening and what we were looking at at certain times. So it was a game I wanted to like more. It had the ingredients, I think, to be stronger than it turned out to ended up being. Um, not to mention a few really bad puzzles, like with the, um, well, at least what we suspect with the developing the chemicals in the photography lab and so on and so forth. Um, but it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. It'll be interesting to see what the Prisoner of Ice is like. Hopefully they learned some of the shortcomings of this one and uh, it'll be a little bit a little bit tighter, a little bit stronger. And yeah, the lore could have been better too. They weren't even, ex I don't even know with all those monsters we beat, I don't even know what the monsters were at the time. They never were never mentioned by name. I feel like almost like it was for a, like a, a Cthulhu fanboy who knows everything. Uh, because it didn't really explain things. Yeah, that that, that was an issue. So yeah, I, mi mix, mixed reviews for me. Um, it was interesting. Oh, thank you, Glitch. Appreciate that. Yeah. I think it was a game of missed opportunity. They had the framework there, but the um, I'd be actually curious to see who the um, game designers were. Like, it strikes me actually the work of. Someone who has watched other games, but maybe has not designed games themselves. So like around the margins, there were a little bit of details that were, that were quite sketchy and it needed to be refined a little bit more, I think. In any case, let's head to our Hall of Adventure. And at game number 49, Call of Cthulhu, Shadow of the Comet, up on the list. Right after.